Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Patrick here and this is the fourth episode of my Boom Beach Beginner's Let's Play series. So I thought I would start this episode off by rearranging my base. I sort of have everything to spread around right now and obviously not, that's not the uh, most optimal thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the garbage in the front like the, uh, the resource stuff and then I'm going to put the defenses in the middle and then finally I will have the headquarters in the back. So that's sort of what I have going on right now. This is just my first defense. It's nothing too complex, um, but I at least want to make it a semi-challenge if people try to attack me. All right, you can see my mortars building. I just had that started. And then now let's go ahead and attack some bases. Most of them are PvP bases, but we do have some computers in the bottom. Let's go ahead and attack these guys. First of all, scouting the base. There's just some mortars up top, um, so I can use some artillery. And I've also unlocked the signal smoke, so I'm going to show you what that is. All right, so I do have some heavies, and I have my um, I have my regular guys, my riflemen. Uh, to start off, I'll just drop two of my artillery on the top, and then now I'm going to show you guys. I guess I can drop another one in a second um, once I get enough ammo to use my signal smoke. So let's go ahead and drop our bo our boats, and then now that they're going up, they're going to go ahead and destroy these barrels or whatever. And then after our guy takes a few shot from those mortars. I can go ahead and drop our signal smoke, and you can see right when I drop that signal smoke, they're going to run over and attack that building right there. All right, so I also went ahead and destroyed that first one. Um, I think I did it with an artillery, and then now that the second one's going down, we're going to be good to go, and that'll be an easy victory. So the signal smoke makes it really easy to control your troops and get them to go where you want to go. Um, so it's a really great addition to this game. That way you don't have your troops flying around wherever, um, and it makes it a little bit more manageable for when you're trying to attack those defenses. All right, wrapping it up, we did get a gold medal. We got plenty of gold, and we got plenty of wood, and let's go ahead and head back to base. So not really too much to upgrade. Again, one builder being upgraded right now. Looking at my troops, I didn't lose any, so we can go ahead and go to the next one. Um, and taking a look at what we can do, first of all, let's get that chest that had some diamonds in it. And then now, it's sort of just a choice on what to attack. I guess I'll attack this resource base. <clears throat> All right, so if you haven't, I guess we haven't talked about the resource bases yet. When you get a resource base, you can protect it, and it gets you like wood and stuff like that. Um, so, and you can like rearrange the, you can rearrange the defenses inside of the base. So you and other players, like other players, real life players, will fight over these resource bases. So you got to make sure you rearrange it and you protect it the way you want to protect it. All right, so all I had to do, drop three artilleries. I went ahead and attacked that first defense, or that second defense, sorry. And then now when I destroy this light now house, it's going to give me control of the resource base. So the resource bases are pretty important because it gives you passive amount of wood, and wood will continue to be shipped to your base. Um, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and take care of that. But again, remember, you don't get to keep it forever, and people can attack you and take it from you. All right, so in the end, we got a metal. We got 1,020 wood, so not too shabby. Again, you can see there's our base right there. Um, I'm not going to rearrange it yet. I, I guess I'll do it in a future episode, but we do control that resource base right there. And then now looking at what else we have, again, just a lot of really player versus player bases. We do have one more CPU base right there in that cove uh, on the left, as well as one on the top. So let's go ahead and attack this one on the left and scout it out and see what's up. All right, looks like it's only one defense, and this is actually a perfect one to use our... Um, our signal smoke on if we want. I can either either use artillery or, or I can use signal smoke. Um, but let's go ahead and use the signal smoke. So you can see I'm putting it right there so my troops avoid the landmines. And then once they get past the landmines, I'll just drop my signal smoke and we can take care of this mortar. So really, no harm, no foul, and it'll be an easy victory at the base. So that's what you have to do sometimes. You have to decide what you want to use. I could have used three artillery right there, and you know what? I probably would have won, um, but my troops might have ran over those trap mines because I wouldn't have had any ammo left, and that might have killed some of my troops. So I was really trying to protect all my troops, uh, and that's why I sort of guided them around like that. So you're going to keep doing that throughout the game. More stuff gets unlocked, like the med kit, which is really helpful, and I think that costs like six ammo to start off. Uh, so you really have to make choices on what you want to use your ammo on. All right, so fast forwarding, we got it. We went ahead and took care of the headquarters wasn't too bad and we save we save those little villagers and we got one metal 900 gold 680 wood so heading back to base you can see that I went ahead and finished my mortar I fast forwarded a little bit and we took care of him and now we can focus on something else to upgrade so I have 2800 wood uh, that is enough to do my mortar to level 2 if I want to it's an hour long upgrade and seeing as the mortar is really powerful against those riflemen I'm gonna upgrade that right now and just get rid of it and then with the rest of my gold, I guess I can do some of those trees if I want, but you know what, I'm just going to save it and save up my gold for now. Alright, looking at one more base to attack. There's two more of those player bases. We have this one right here. Let's go ahead and scout it out real fast. And on this base, he only has, I guess, two sniper towers, so that's not too bad. 
uh, but I don't think the resources really were there. So let's check out this next one. Pretty good amount of resources. Has a mortar in the center and two arc or two sniper towers on the side. Gonna go ahead and check out this third one right here. Um, yeah, it has a it has a machine gun. It has a mortar. It has a sniper tower. That one's pretty tough. Let's just go ahead and attack this computer right here. I'll focus up more on PvP in some later episodes, but for this one, I'm just gonna attack these computers and try to stockpile the resources. All right, for this one, I decided not to use my signal smoke. I'm just gonna drop three artilleries and then go ahead and drop my troops. Again, the signal smoke is actually really cheap compared to the artilleries, so you can drop them if you need them, but for this base, it was really straightforward. Just take care of the sniper tower and you're gonna get an easy victory. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I have another one coming up after this. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, peace out.